So in this video, we'll talk about a very common case called as knowledge mining. You will see that many companies will uh, use the Azure AI where they want is their HR policies, right? Or whatever, let's say medical bills and all. So whatever policies are there, people should be able to search in natural language, right? So for that, they will definitely use this and you can also use this in your company or in various of your projects. And this is a very important thing called as Azure AI search or knowledge mining. So let's read about this. Okay, so this uh, is like search from unstructured data, right? So we can easily search from let's say SQL because data is stored in the form of table, but we always want that, okay, there is uh, like a lot of data that is there in the wiki of a project and all right, but people should be able to search it maybe in a natural language with the gen AI in picture, right? So this is the thing which is there in if it's enabled at your company. So where we can keep the data, data can be in the Cosmos DB Azure SQL. So this is mostly structured data. When we say structure, it's stored in a proper way, right? Proper way as in here in SQL, we store the data in the form of uh, uh, table right in cosmos it's about uh, no sequel and rest of the data let's say pdf or any word document and excel right so there you can store the azure storage so you will keep the data here and how this system works is there is an indexer so what it will do is it will index whatever data you have kept it and it will create it in json format so if there is a question coming that okay that uh, what kind of data it accepts it accepts only json format right and this is the service it will use azure cognitive search so once the indexer is created so if... so let's say there is a user right so in between there would be azure ai search or you can say cognitive search is sitting and there are so many documents so indexer what it will do is it will convert it into a json index right and you will ask question it will go here and it will get the data to the user, right? So a cognitive search is involved here. So this is an example here given that a private enterprise search solution, right? Let's say there is a company Nokia, right? And they have so much data. They want to make it searchable in that natural language or easier way to search all of their data, right? They can place it at any of these places, mostly in Azure storage, right? And indexer, it's told that how it works is, uh, there are two ways. One is the push way, one is the pull method, right? So it's a no code solution. Uh, if you want to try this, you can try this, like create, like take five, six documents, right? Uh, place it at this place. And there is a studio available by which you can uh, try these things, right? So that's what the main thing about Azure AI search is. So you give the data, you place it using indexer, it would be converted, right? And then uh, you can even, if the data is updated, we can use either of this method and it can search it. So this application you are going to see in most of the companies where they will put all the data and people can easily search it using this Azure Cognitive Search and Gen AI is there at the backend. So hope you like it. Thank you.